prayers I call breakthrough prayers. Yes, sir. Just telling God, Lord, give me a breakthrough. Will not let him give you. Because breakthroughs itself doesn't function in vacuum. When God releases a breakthrough, there is something a breakthrough looks for in your life to marry. And then it begins to manifest. And most of us cry for the will of God to be done. But that will comes around and is looking for something. If you call for God's will that prospers people, wealth, the wealth of God, it will come and it will be looking for a liberal spirit. If you are not a giver, you are not mandated to be prospering. No, God does not work that way. The miraculous gift, the healing gifts comes around and he's looking for a heart of compassion. He's coming to look for compassion because the healing gift must operate. You must have compassion on people. You want to do ministry and excel. The Bible says that a steward must be found faithful. So he comes around. The, 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 success, the, the spirit that gives success to ministry comes around and is looking for one thing, faithfulness in you. Ah, I pray. Anything in you that have rejected Jesus. the glory of God, the will of God, the things that are written about you, I pray from today, let that thing be vacated. I pray that those things that is meat for the things that you have been calling for. There are things that are meat for things that you have been looking out for. Yeah. Patience. Patience. The Bible speaks, uh, Apostle Paul speaks of the apostle. And the first thing he said of apostles was not signs and wonders. He said that apostles may have patience before he speaks of signs and wonders. There are things that must be found in us for breakthroughs to come. Those are the things we don't look for. All that we cry out, oh God, break me through. And the, the, the spirit comes around and is looking for his partner and he can't find. You want to be a leader. You want God to set you up to be a faithful le a, a leader that people will submit to. That spirit of leadership will come and you'll be looking for diligence. And when diligence cannot be found in you, it returns back to God and says, I couldn't find a partner. And sometimes when you come before God, God is expecting you to pray the prayer for diligence. And you are still praying for the spirit of leadership. And God comes around and tells you, no, it doesn't work that way. I sent leadership to you, but he couldn't find diligence. You cannot be sleeping when destinies are in your hands. It must see as thou a man diligent in his works. He shall stand before kings. I pray for somebody here. In the name of Jesus. Anything that cannot be found in you that keeps letting the blessings of God return. From tonight, I declare an impartation. Amen. I said, I declare an impartation. Amen. I release an impartation Amen. of those things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Things will not just happen. They must locate something in you. Yes, sir. It is a disaster if you are empty. It's a disaster. So Peter will tell you, add to your faith virtue. Add to it patience. Add to it diligence. There are things that must be found inside. That must couple up with any blessing and destiny that the Lord has for you. Moses will not just rise to be great. The day... One thing was found in him. That was his fallen. The Bible says in Numbers 20 that God told Moses, because you did not hallow me before the people, you did not hallow me and you did not believe in me. Because of that, you will not possess the land. You will only show them, but you, your feet will not touch them. There are things you are not permitted to keep. Moses got angry for once. And he misbehaved against God. He missed the final manifestation of his destiny. Why? Because something should have been in place. Never be proud of setting character in you. Never. Never. They are sometimes rejectors of destiny. They bounce back the glory. You will fast and pray for a glory. And one character in you bounce it back to God. 
And that glory goes back and sits with God, waiting for the day you will patiently. That is why you shouldn't be a program Christian. There are many Christians who only show up for programs, and they go back and sleep. What programs does for you is that it reveals the will of God to you. What church services does to you is that it builds you up to meet that will. That is what we don't know. That is what we don't know. To somebody, when oil is poured on him, that is when he has been anointed. But you don't know that that oil must meet something inside of you. And sometimes that thing, it will take you one year of solid teaching. For you to accept that thing. And the moment that thing comes, breakthrough starts. You want to be rich. And you don't understand the mystery of giving. Sit in a service. Continue to be taught. Get books. Get tips until you are convinced about giving. Then you will see wealth coming. There is no shortcut in this kingdom. There is no shortcut. You want to see the healing grace. Sir, learn and study about love. Until compassion is built in you, you will lay hands on the sick, they'll be healed. You don't sit back and begin to desire Benny Hinn's anointing. It doesn't come. Do you know the number of tears he shed seeing the sick? It is that tears that heals them. Until you take your time to study, to understand, to understand. Hey, things go into people becoming great music ministers, my singers. Things go into it. It goes beyond just a voice. There are things that goes in. There are things. And sometimes you may be anointed, but there is something missing in this body. So Paul said, I beseech you, my brethren, therefore, that you present your body holy and acceptable. The word is acceptable. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable servant. So there are times, the day you come to your senses and you present your body, that is why you realize that God doesn't accept everything in the body. Then you begin to work on yourself to a point that God begins to accept it. The moment God accepts it, Paul said you have stepped into your reasonable service. Now you can be used. <laughs> You'll understand later. Now, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the gospel truth. That is why we sit down in teaching service until something begins to dilute certain things inside of us that has been rejecting the counsel of God over our lives. It's not an option to be built. It's not an option to grow in God. It's not an option to present this body as an acceptable body. It's not an option. There is something that can be rejected if this body is not acceptable before the Lord. I'm not scaring you. I'm only telling you if there is anything to do, do it. Do it. Things don't just happen in the kingdom. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm telling you from the depth of my heart. Sometimes, eh, to be a good pastor is to be real to yourself and sometimes feel bad that you keep seeing people full of problems. That is what moves you to want to tell them the truth. You think I'm happy if most of you are in, pro in problems. I'm not. That is why sometimes I cry if I preach and it's like it's hitting your heart and coming back to me. There are days I spend moments in, the, in my room crying that, Lord, when will these people know I'm telling them the truth? You can't reject the counsel of God and then wish that his will be done. It doesn't work. Know the truth and the truth will make you free. There are things in that freedom. And one of the things is that you are free to manifest destiny when truth comes. We are going to pray one more prayer. Then I leave this place. I am going to pray that God, this is me. This is me. There are things inside of me. There are things about this body. There are things that work in the mind. There are things happening with me. Only I know this thing does not support the fulfillment of the destiny that you have given me. Never think that truth will only come from a puppet that has giant screens and beautiful edifice. 
No. No. Jesus was born in a manger. Never think. The truth, who is a person, came out of a manger. That means that truth can be born in any building. Don't sit here and look at, turn around and feel that if, if it is true, then I should see a sign. Truth in itself sometimes doesn't carry a sign. It is when you obey it and practice it, then the signs begin to fall. I release an impartation. Amen, Jesus. I release an impartation. Amen. I release an oil. Amen. That will refresh your body one more time. Amen. I, Jesus. I release an oil. Yes, sir. That will refresh your mind. I release an oil. Jesus. That will shape you. That will shape your mindset. Amen. Shape your soul. Shape your body. I release an oil. Am I here with the church at yes, all? Sir. I release Amen. a changing oil. Barakataya namasha. Rabadaba kunkataya. Zeben de brante kimantos. Hafiki na kunta sai. Apanta vaseve. Arekatenda rapata. Epantus katapia. Apelu antaya. You think Jesus doesn't heal. He is still in the healing business. There is something you don't know. And there is something about you are doing. That is not meeting his healing power. You think Jesus doesn't bless. He still blesses. There is something you don't know. You think Jesus doesn't lift up people. He is still lifting up people. There is something you don't know. From today, that is the thing I pray. May the eyes of your understanding be open. I said, That is the thing I pray. That may you receive it in your spirit. May you receive it in your soul. May you receive it in your body. I declare a turn around. I declare a change in the name of Jesus. You think you will remain like this? No. Go and stand in the mirror. Calculate all your prophecies. Calculate all the promises of God. The Bible says that the scriptures is a sure word of prophecy. Calculate the number of prophecies in scriptures concerning you. There is one everybody know. You shall be above only. Only. That is the word for your life. You shall be above only. That means there shouldn't be any occasion of you being last. You shall be above only. That is a prophecy, a word. What is it in me that is rejecting that beautiful prophecy? You shall be the head and not the tail. I have been young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed fight for bread. What is it in me that has rejected this word? That my children are begging. My family is begging. Myself. He's saying that even his seed will not beg. This time is the righteous that is begging. What is it in me that is rejecting such a prophecy from happening? That is what we pray for. It's high time some of us have revelation. And the revelation is that Jesus comes around, sits you down and tell you that this thing and this thing about you. It's what is rejected. It's, it's possible, sir. I believe. When it comes to divine encounter, I believe. Jesus is ready to visit you. And sit you down. And discuss you with you. I believe divine encounters. Because I am privileged to see some. I believe it. And it's not for only some special people. Sometimes you get too hungry. That God, is there something in me that is rejecting you? And all your counsels. And then you will see that the man will come around. Whichever way he will come around, fine. It may even be that he will come around on a Sunday morning. It may be a tree service. Then he will start to teach. And it, you, it will be you that is being preached. And sometimes we are so ignorant and so without understanding to a point that we go and insult the pastor and say, the pastor, the pastor has heard something about me and he's preaching. It's sort of us to know that Jesus is preparing our body to meet his will. Mm. Mm. We begin to insult and the pastor did me preach here. When you saw yourself in the message, I pray from today. In the name of Jesus. I pray from today. In the name of Jesus. I pray from today. Yes, sir. May the eyes of your understanding be open. Amen. I said, may the eyes of your understanding be open. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There shall be a release. Yes, sir. Every oil you need for a rubbing yes, sir. over your body. Every oil you need for a rubbing. Lift up your hands. 
Lift up your hands. Every oil you need. Every oil you need. For a robber. Every oil you need. For a robber. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a robber. Let there be a robber. Say in the name of Jesus. Let there be a robber. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a robber. Let there be a robber. From today, from today, my body, my body is prepared, is prepared for, the will for the will and the volumes, and the volumes of, the book. of the book in Jesus' name. In Jesus Clap name. your hands and shout, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Hallelujah. <laughs>